What's up devs? This week is super exciting. I am thrilled to announce to you the Apple Vision Pro. Today we're going to go through and look at all of the pros, the cons, talk about whether you should get one as a developer for virtual reality or AR or whatever you end up deciding to build with it. We're going to talk about all that in today's video. Uh, naming aside, it's a pretty cool device. It's definitely top of the line as far as you've seen the price point. It goes, it's gonna go for $3,500 and be released at the beginning of 2024. First off, it's a standalone device, so that's pretty important. A wireless, but you have to have a battery pack that you put in your back pocket or clip to your belt or something. That is the wire that you see in all of the footage and it adds a two hour battery life to the headset. It'll be using Apple's new M2 chip, so it should be really, really fast. CPU should be able to handle a lot of stuff. Uh, actually, the Quest doesn't usually hit the CPU limits. Usually it's the graphical inputs, so we'll have to see what the, uh, the graphics side of things is gonna look like. They do have an R1 chip as well, which is a brand new chip for Apple, and that one is really just there, like the whole reason it's there is to process all of the pass-through, which is the next thing is that it has, it has full color pass-through, similar to how the Quest Pro does, but it has a lot more cameras that are able to map everything out, and there's also a LiDAR sensor, which is gonna be really important right on the front that'll allow the AR and mixed reality of everything to start to come about, which is super exciting. Also, the R1 chip allows the delay between seeing the outside world and then processing it and putting it into your screen to be about 12 milliseconds, which is actually really good. It's a, about a 82 frame or 83 frames per second, uh, which is really amazing. And then I'm sure that the actual screens and the displays will be able to run at a much faster frames per second for when you're exclusively in VR and want to hit 90 or 120 or something like that. There's also going to be a bezel wheel. So this does go full virtual reality and then full augmented reality. And they have a little a uh, bezel like you have on an Apple Watch that will allow you to cycle through apps. That one on the Vision Pro will actually cycle, transition you from fully virtual to fully augmented. And you can kind of set a, uh, a kind of difference of totally wrapped in virtual reality to like maybe a little bit to all the way augmented reality, which is also pretty fun too. I actually played a demo of Unity doing a project similar to that um, for the Quest 2 and really just pass through in general. Uh, where you could actually s have a little slider, and that'll probably be a, a video kind of following this that I'll show you how to actually build out for the Quest Pro um, so that we have all the same features and stuff. That'll be a little tutorial that comes out later, so subscribe if you want to see that. And then the last kind of spec I'll tell you about is there's not actually any controllers, so the way you move around and click is your eyes are tracked, and you can look, and wherever you're looking, the cursor is going to be, and then you can actually click by just pinching your fingers, doing a pinch motion like the Quest does in the Quest ecosystem. Um, there is full hand tracking, and then there's also voice tracking as well. So that's kind of how you navigate around. There's no controllers or anything. It's just pinching with your hands, and then eye tracking, and then voice tracking. Um, I don't know if there's any other hand um, capability built in already. I'm sure there will be eventually, but right now it's just the, uh, the pinch as far as we've seen. So that's like all the cool stuff I've seen about the headset. Let's talk about how you as a developer are going to be impacted by this big change. So again, it comes out early 2024 and the price is $3,500. And I definitely think they're going to sell a limited quantity of these and it's going to be really focused on just being a dev kit. So a lot of people are harping and there's a lot of mixed opinions about whether this is a good headset, whether you should buy it now. And my personal recommendation is that if you are a consumer purely and you're not a developer, then I would not buy it. Um, but if you are a developer and you're looking on making a career in development, then I highly, highly recommend buying this as soon as it releases because the ones who get their apps on the app store in the, the Vision Pro's app store are the ones who are going to win. And there's going to be a very, very small amount of apps at the beginning that are compatible with the Vision Pro. And so if yours is one of the ones that is compatible, 
you're going to be the one that gets downloaded. You'll have market share of whatever your niche is, and it's going to be super, super powerful. How do you actually build an app for uh, Vision Pro? And the answer to that is a new operating system called Vision OS that Apple has released. And so you'll actually be able to use Unity to develop for this. You'll still need Xcode. You still need Xcode to build, which is super annoying. And now I have to go get a Mac computer, <laughs> but uh, my wife has a laptop, but I'm not sure that's going to be powerful enough to do all these builds and stuff. So um, the tech stack that you'll need is Xcode. There is an app called Reality Composer Pro which is, I think, currently in beta, and is basically gonna be a really, really dumbed down version of Unity. So people who are not really technically minded or really good at programming can still create uh, interesting apps with uh, different displays and UI and whatnot, but it's gonna be really, really dumbed down. And then if you wanna make full VR experiences or AR experiences, Unity is gonna be the way to go. So it'll integrate perfectly with AR Kit and all of the AR VR tools inside of Unity, which is super exciting. And uh, I will be showing you how to do all of that as we kind of uh, progress and as we go along. Uh, I've got to get my hands on one first. So if anybody knows anybody at Apple or Unity who is willing to donate me a dev kit or I'll pay for it for sure, <laughs> just let me know. <laughs> send, me a, send me an email. And there's a few opportunities for you as a developer. So you can jump into Unity's beta program. So you can apply for that. I'll put a link down in the description for that. Um, so Unity will give you access to a lot more of the uh, the Apple tools, Apple specific tools. Um, so they'll, they'll be releasing that beta pretty soon. And then there's also an Apple developer program that opens up in July that I'll also have a link to down in the description if you want to apply for that and maybe you, you can get a dev kit or at least access to all the code behind it so you can start developing those apps or at least learning how it works. Take the next few months, learn how to use Unity, learn how to do VR development. Shameless plug for the course down in the description, uh, which will, the course will have a whole module on how to develop for the Apple headset. Uh, if you're part of the course and wondering about that, 100% we'll be covering that. Um, if you're not part of the course, get in now before the course is finished and the price goes up. So I'll just I'll plug that there. Um, but this is going to be a huge opportunity for probably the next year. You have the next six months ish, six, seven months to learn. You have the next six months to actually build an app once you get your hands on a headset. And after that, it's kind of the market's going to start to get more and more saturated and you'll have lost that window. So it'll just start getting harder and harder to put apps onto the stores. So I highly recommend if you don't know how to use unity now, if you don't know how to program in VR now, uh, learn that now you have the next six months to do that once the apps start to roll out like you'll be able to play games people like wondering oh there's no games on the like they showed off playing a game on a flat screen that's because they don't have any games nobody has known about the headset besides a very very small number of people they don't have games built for it they specifically hand selected like three different companies to convert their app into VR if you want to get in and develop apps now is the time i'm going to keep saying that i'm going to say that for the next like six to six months to a year so just just be pre be prepared for that so subscribe if you want to keep up with the industry if you want to actually see how to develop some of these apps as a super exciting time for extended reality as a whole and uh i'm so glad you're here with us so i'll see you in the next one <laughs>